Mm-hmm. So, so, yeah. so um, I would say that the fact that they didn't, and again, that's one of the areas that conflicts. If you read various accounts, I think the, there's a couple of accounts that say they didn't find any black boxes at the World Trade Center site from planes, and there's another account that says they found two or three. I'm going a long way back in my memory now. Mm-hmm. So the, the accounts of that disagree, but I would suspect they didn't find any because mm-hmm. the other evidence that we talked about suggests that these planes were not were not real planes. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's possible, for example, and Richard D. Hall has postulated that a projectile struck the tower, but it wasn't a plane. They, 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 mm-hmm. In other words, you know, the scenario might be that they've got this fancy uh, image projection technology and they put it inside of some type of cruise missile. So, so it was actually a cruise missile that hit the towers, or one of the towers. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, but it looked like a plane because of the surrounding sophisticated uh, image projection system, mm-hmm. and they might have had a black box and planted in the missile or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's pure speculation that we, we really don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'm just 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 curious on that one, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it's very strange that you know, the black boxes can actually stand. You know, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, and they just can't find them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. strange. But you know that that, that sort of evidence. Um, can be, can be fabricated, you know. So they do have black, these black box recordings that they play back. I, re, I realise that uh, some, I think some of the data is meant to have come off them. Certainly, they had one from the Pentagon, I think, which is meant to have had uh, flight data, which was then used to, in a report, okay. uh, which uh, was released, I think, uh, under FIA. But that particular flight recorder showed the plane didn't even hit the Pentagon, it went up to 100 feet. Mm-hmm. The, <laughs> Yeah. You know, again, you can look at that. I think it's on pilots for 9/11 Truth. So there's all kinds of anomalies. You know, yeah, yeah. pilots saying they couldn't actually manage. You know, really, yeah, really, yeah. yeah. And then these people like had like five lessons or something, and they're saying like the pilots that taught them saying they're terrible. The guy they weren't even trained to fly to test them. Yeah, they're yeah, that's though. right. Yeah. Yeah. So even the the, the official story mm-hmm. doesn't stack up with these hijackers. They just they weren't yeah. even up to the job yeah. of hijacking, let alone you know. Yeah, boss could just. Mm. Yeah, you know, the whole story is just a complete, it's just a joke really when you start. And many of them are still alive, aren't they? Yeah, yeah that's it. I mean, there were stories, that's one of the things I sort of latched onto fairly yeah. early on in about 2004, mm. that there were BBC news reports of them interviewing the hijackers after the event. So I think there were allegedly nine that have been interviewed of the mm. named ones. That was, that was put into the loose change form. So you've got all those problems. Mm. And, and of course, that once you look at the physics, as we said earlier on, it, 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 that's it, 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 all those things. Then make sense. Mm-hmm. The hijackers survived because there weren't any hijackers. Yeah. Yeah. You know the names that they used, whatever reason they used them. You know they weren't the hijackers, mm-hmm. and the other ones that weren't on that list of nine who weren't, didn't hijack any planes. You know they were just made up names, or mm-hmm. you know maybe they just got killed in other uh, uh, you know events mm-hmm. um, around the time. Mm-hmm. So if anybody went looking for them, they find that they were dead for other reasons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? yeah. I mean, they say the moment after he was a day or two before 9 11, he was out drinking cocktails and he was yeah, strip that's bars. The story. That's he wasn't, yeah. <laughs> you know, he wasn't gearing himself up ready to be a martyr or whatever. Yeah, you know, exactly. But when those stories get circulated in the media, you see, they distract people's attention yes. from the actual physical yes. events. Yes, yes. Yeah. So they never get to the core truth, mm. which is the hidden technology. Yes. That, to me, is the core yes. truth that they yes. want to keep covered mm. up mm. because they use that technology to manage people's perceptions mm. for other events, or they might want to use it, mm. you know. Um, and I mean, you know, for example, if you go to Alex Jones's site, he, in the past he's talked about them using the image projection technology to, to fake an apparition of Allah, you know, the, the, mm. the, the Muslim uh, uh, prophet mm. uh, in, in that country so that he can influence it. He was 60 foot high, and this is apparently is in some uh, military mm. document somewhere that he mm. quotes, you know. But yet, yeah, Alex Jones will not talk about the use of uh, image projection on 9 11. He's never talked about that. He's never talked about the idea that the plane crashes were not real, mm. to my knowledge. Or if he has, he'll, he'll say it's disinformation and he'll ridicule the people. You know, I've got an article about that on my mm. website. A lot won't, really. Yeah, well, uh, that's, that's right, they won't. They yeah, won't do that. Yeah. Yeah. I've gone off a bit off track here, but I mean, I, Alex Jones and, and myself, I, I, I've gone off him a little bit. Since, oh, I have, yeah, for, for quite a while. Yeah, really. since Donald mm. Trump, he's like saying, vote for Donald Trump, you'll change the world, you'll change, and nothing's changed. And, no, uh, well, you see, going back even mm. further, Alex Jones said, don't vote for anybody, because it's all the parties yeah. are controlled by the globalists. Yeah, yeah. You know, and so, now it's changed. Yeah. And in fact, you know, there's a video that I, I send to people of Alex Jones where he's saying, uh, I think he's saying, vote for... Uh, 
um, what's her name? I can never remember her name. Mm. Uh, Sarah Palin, that's who it is. Oh, yeah, Sarah Palin, yeah. yeah so saying vote for her, yeah. vote for her, and then you've got to mm. put together these two videos. Mm. So no, don't vote for Palin, she's just in the control of such and such, you know. He just completely contradicts himself. You can't yeah. have that. No. You know. Well, you know. I mean, uh, I understand if if new information comes, accept it and then change it and say. Right, it, right, but yeah. If you're doing conflict and not. Yeah, exactly. It, it, yeah. You know, something like that where you're going from saying don't vote, don't to vote yeah, at all exactly, to, yeah, to vote exactly, for somebody. Yeah, you yeah. Know, because you know the system is mm. loaded and uh, it's run by yeah, other people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's Which is true, you know, and that's, it is, yes, yeah, that's yes, part yes, true. So, that's so right, to yeah. me, Alex, Alex Jones has actually become less honest mm. over time, you know, mm. so what's the reason for that? Mm. 